Don't underestimate the blessing you have, which is Islam. My parents are not Muslim. My wife is in the audience and she She knows how much I love my parents. And my parents love me. Every day, my dad says to me, he loves me. Many of us don't even have this as Muslims. But if my dad dies like this, where is he gonna go? You can pray for your parents, I can't pray for my dad when he dies. This is the reality brothers and sisters. This is the reality, don't underestimate the blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتقعد مذموما مخذولا وقضى ربك ألا تعبدوا إلا إياه وبالوالدين إحسانا إما يبلغن عندك الكبر أحدهما أو كلاهما فلا تقل لهما أف فلا تقل لهما أف ولا تنهرهما وقل لهما قولا كريما واخفض لهما جناح الذل من الرحمة وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا To raise a child with love and mercy and tenderness and to have this child grow up and flourish in front of their eyes to spend one's entire livelihood, one's savings, one life and times, one's efforts on this person, this young son or daughter and then to find that this son or daughter turns around and goes against them. This son or daughter treats them in a harsh or rude manner. This human being, because of whom they felt motivated to live, a child motivates a parent to live. This human being, because of whom they changed their whole life plans, they worked hard and struggled. So, someone whom they expected nothing but mercy and tenderness in response to. Instead, when this child turns against the parents and treats them with contempt, with arrogance, with ridicule, with sarcasm, the emotional trauma, the distress that a parent feels is more profound than anything else. You give everything you can, your heart and your soul, your body and your efforts, everything you can. What do you want in return? Absolutely nothing. That is the state of Ihsan, perfection. I'm giving, it's a one-way street. And there's nothing in return that I want back. Why? Because my parents have already given me far more than I can ever pay back. My parents have already done for me much more than I could possibly do in return for them. Now it's my time to try to not even repay the favor, because that's never gonna happen, but at least do my duty as a loyal son. The largest door to Jannah, and the middle door to Jannah, Awsat means the largest and the middle. The largest door to Jannah that any person has is that of his parents. His parents are the easiest way that a person can enter Jannah. If you treat your parents with the respect and the love that they deserve, your easiest way to enter Jannah will be through that door. In yet another hadith, the Prophet said, the pleasure of Allah is in the pleasure of the parents, and the anger of Allah is in the anger of the parents. Once a man came to Ibn Abbas and he said to him, Oh Ibn Abbas, I have done this and I have done that and I have fornicated and I have drunk wine. He, he basically, he did every sin in the book. What can I do now to make up for this? Ibn Abbas said, Are your parents alive? He said, My mother is alive. Ibn Abbas said, Go and serve her. Because wallahi, I know of no good deed that
cleanses a man of all of his sins than servicing. 